Hey guys, in this video I am painting some dragonflies, which is not terribly unusual for me. I didn't really like how this painting turned out. Um, I might <laughs> uh, revisit it later. Maybe I should do this in ink. That would be kind of interesting. But I decided to take a few minutes to talk about art that changed your life. Now I can't really think of too many examples of art that was so life changing. It seems like such an intense word. I mean, I guess like you could say maybe anime was life changing because maybe that's what really ramped up the drawing habit for me. Or, you know, maybe, maybe contemporary art itself was life changing because it made me more confident to think that, hey, maybe my art can hang in a gallery even though it's not hyper realistic. If you could really call those things life-changing like maybe that's a bit dramatic <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of dumb because a lot of people have strong opinions about this book but in high school I had to read um, Sophie's world by Justine Garter it starts out kind of dry and then it kind of turns into a fictional tale surrounding a philosophy of life a lot of people don't really like this book because it's too I don't know uh, childish I guess so what happens in the second chapter is that it does talk a little bit about how people lose their sense of wonder as they get older. And it's this little anecdote. Uh, two parents and a toddler are eating breakfast in the kitchen and dad decides to start flying in midair. A little baby points up at him and says, oh he's flying and he's very astonished. But it's like not unusual because babies are always full of wonder with the world so he just thinks that this is another thing that happens but when the mother sees dad floating around she freaks out she passes out she faints she drops dishes you know it's it's supposed to talk about how we get so accustomed to the world around us we just no longer feel you know awed by it solar eclipse for example people would look up at the solar eclipse and just feel awe-inspired it's it's like having a complete renewed view of the world and what's happening in it and i think that's really why i like that chapter in this book and it made me kind of question you know what are the odds you know that this flower grew in this way that these bugs are this shape and yeah and it it really renewed my sense of wonder it, it felt very much like when you see a really great piece of art and it inspires you but then when you look at it more frequently, it doesn't inspire you anymore. And I thought that's what would happen to me. You know, it's been at least 15 years, so I'm still pretty awe-inspired by dragonflies and butterflies and cats and trees and plants and weather and sky and all sorts of stuff. And I think that's a lot of reason why I paint these things. And I don't know if I would be painting them if I didn't have this renewed sense of wonder. Our art does affect the world in strange and mysterious ways and you don't want to not take a chance and not paint something because you don't know if that's going to be the one thing that's going to be life-changing for somebody else, you know? But what kind of art changed your life? And talk about it in the comments and it could be anything. I mean, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.